Welcome back to the shop. Tonight we're going to be talking about saw blade selection, specifically saw blades for the Woodmiser LT15. A lot goes into trying to figure out what kind of blades you want to use on your sawmill. Now, the things you want to think about, am I cutting strictly hardwood, am I cutting strictly softwood, are there going to be frozen logs involved, how hard is the hardwood, so there's a lot to go into it. Generally speaking though, you can kind of pick one blade that's good for all around. Now that's what we were looking for. Previously we were using a, a saw blade with a 9 degree set and we were having some problems and we'll talk more about that in a minute. So we decided to go with a different blade, one with a 4 degree set. Now to understand what we're talking about, let's talk about some uh, saw blade terminology. First of all, let's talk about what the most common thing you're going to hear about, which is going to be uh, the teeth per inch. And that's kind of just exactly what it says, is how many teeth cover a one inch area. So the finer the uh, cut, generally speaking, the more teeth per inch. The more cut, coarse the cut, and the generally the, the faster you'll cut, uh, the fewer teeth there are per inch. And that's kind of a generalization, but it's a good rule of thumb. Uh, the other thing is, is to kind of talk about what the blade is. And the blade is actually the part that does the cutting, the part here. Uh, seems kind of obvious, but it is something that needs to be pointed out. Uh, let's talk about the tooth now. The tooth is actually what does the cutting when you're cutting. The gullet is this space down here, this empty space right here, and that primarily is used to remove sawdust. So the, the tooth will cut the sawdust to fall here, and when you go through your cut, the sawdust falls out. So that is called the gullet, and this is the tooth. All right, now let's talk about set. Now what set is, is the teeth on a saw will vary off the midline. So every other tooth will be spaced like this way, and then one out this way. So this tooth may come this one, this one may go that way, this may go this way. And that's where we were running into problems with our sawmill when we were cutting. And part of the problem was, is when we were cutting logs, if we hit a, uh, on a just primarily hardwood, uh, if we hit a knot, the blade would either dip down or it come up. And so our boards kind of looked wavy like that. And it was becoming more and more of a problem. I tried varying the speed, how fast I moved the, the sawmill. I tried varying the, the amount of uh, fluid that I had running over to lubricate the wood. Nothing seemed to be working, so I called our good friends at Woodmiser, and Nathan down at Woodmiser of Georgia told me I might want to go with the four degrees uh, set on my, my saw blade. It seems to be working. Now, let's go on and talk a little bit more about uh, saw, uh, saw blade and saw blade terminology. One of the other big things that you want to know in, in saw blade terminology is kerf. Now, kerf is simply the space that the saw blade leaves when you cut. So when you cut in the, a piece of wood, you're actually making the wood smaller by the, uh, the, basically the amount of the saw that's cutting through there. There's a couple of factors that kind of play into how big your kerf is going to be. One is how thick your saw blade is. And by how thick your saw blade is, I'm talking about this, this width right through here. So how thick it is. Also the set of the blade. Now if this comes over 9 degrees and you've got a wider set on your, your saw blades, the thicker your kerf is going to be, so the less wood you're going to have when you're done cutting. Wobble, how much the blade moves also has an effect on that. So taking all those factors into consideration, what's the best saw blade for the, uh, the cutting that you're doing? Well, for us, it turned out to be the 4 degree saw blade. Yep. It, works, it seems to be working really well just recently got a box of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you out to the sawmill now and show you some cutting with this new 4 degrees blade. So y'all hang on, grab you something cold to drink, and let's watch a little sawmill action. As we've mentioned in previous videos, we've been having some trouble when we're milling oak. Uh, pretty much any hardwood, we're having some dips and some valleys when we're cutting. Now I have tried varying my speed that I actually run the mill at, both faster and slower. Tried changing how much uh, lubrication I was uh, uh, running through the blade. None of that seemed to matter. I called our good friend Nathan down at Woodmiser, Georgia, and he told me he thought the problem was going to be that we were using a 9 degree set on our blades, uh, which works well for softwoods and in general works well as a good overall uh, blade. But he felt like we could do better if we used a 4 degree. Uh, uh, set on our blade. So he sent me one to give it a try. Now I've been anxious and fighting at the bit trying to get this thing on the mill and just haven't had the opportunity. Uh, so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to change out that 9 degree set blade, put this 4 degree set blade, 
I guess up a big oak log that I got sitting over here behind the camera. We're going to load it up and we're going to cut a couple of boards. Now, we're not trying to mill up an entire log this evening. Really this evening, what I'm trying to do is get a uh, feel if I like these blades. Now, if I like them, I'm going to order a bunch more. Why? Because I have a ton of oak and hardwoods on the property. Plus, I've got some milling to do for a good friend of mine at work. Uh, so before we get set up doing all his milling, I want to make sure I have the right blade. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's change out the blades. Let's get a lo uh, log loaded up on the mill, and let's see how this does. Y'all hang on tight, grab you something cool to drink, and let's see how this works out. That was quite a job loading this log up on the mill by myself, but we got it. What we've got here is a log that's 20 inches diameter on this end and 22 inches on that side. We're not going to try to cut all this up this evening. We're not going to try to get a stack of boards. What we're going to do is simply make a couple of cuts with this uh, new blade that we got from our good friend Nathan at Widmeiser, Georgia. It's a 4 degree offset blade compared to the 9 degree we were using before. What we're going to do is see how well it cuts this hardwood. So, you hang with us and watch us cut up a couple of boards.
this. Oh, that's gorgeous. We gotta move this forward here, huh? Yeah. Hang on, let me see. Alrighty, I hope you found that interesting. It was a fun uh, evening of, of milling. It was a pretty cool day. We enjoyed yes. it and we got some really nice. nice slabs out of that. Most importantly, we didn't have the dips and we didn't have the hills. We didn't have those valleys and rises. The board came out much, much better. One of the other things that we were concerned about was the amount of chatter that we were getting in the boards. Now, I'm going to try to hold up a board here and let you see what chatter is and see how that works. Tell me if you can see that. You can see the chatter. You can see all the yeah, little bumps. You see these ridges and stuff? That was another problem that we were having and that seems to be much reduced with this new blade and, and I've got some more information that said we might need to tighten the blade a little beyond what factory specs call for uh, to get those uh, those uh, chatter marks out. But it's much improved. It's much, much so, more improved. For us, the 4 degrees blade seems to be working a lot better than the 9 degree blade. Now we ordered 15 new blades from our friends at Woodmiser and that was just on Friday. Today is Tuesday with the holiday on Monday. And the blades arrive today. So you get quick service with Miser. I think oh, yeah, Miser is really great. So uh, we've really enjoyed working with them. However, uh, we're going to have to do some more cutting to see exactly where we stand. Now we may come back later, do another video uh, yep. with another blade. But right now, we're really looking forward to these uh, four degree set blades because they seem to be working so well for us. So what we're going to ask you to do is hang out and watch for future videos where we're cutting with the 4 degrees blade. We'll go into that more uh, in future videos, how well it's working for us. So in the meantime... And what wood we use. Yeah, and what woods that we cut with it. So you watch and see uh, videos maybe coming up later uh, through the fall this year and see, see how this 4 degrees blade continues to, uh, to work for us. Uh, with that being said, I really think that's about all for this evening. Yes, do you sir. have anything else? No. As always, we'd like to say thank you for watching the videos and remember... We'd love to see you back in the shop. Welcome back to the shop. Tonight we're talking about saw blades, specifically saw blades uh, selection for the Widmiser LT15. And I just blew that all the head. <laughs> I didn't think you blew it.